<laughs> Hi. Um, it's been a bit. Or I feel like it's been a bit. Uh, you probably can't hear that because let's say it one one to one more time. My sound quality is just very bad, but this is because of my phone and I can't really change it. It's just the microphone that's picking up the sound like this, so I'm really sorry. <clears throat> but I will use my phone as long as it lives and when it dies I will find another phone and the sound quality will be eventually better. But for now, you will need to stick with it, just like me. We suffer together. <laughs> Um, but there was a dog barking uh, down my building, yeah. I have some coffee right here with me because I'm cold like all the time. My apartment is really great, I love it. It's kind of big for a student's apartment, apartment room, whatever. Um, it has a balcony. Uh, the desk is extra big, like you can work on a big space, that's so cool. Um, the bathroom is really great, <clears throat> but the only thing is that it's so cold right now. Like, it got cold, w where I am at least in France, it got cold very like unexpectedly for some reason. It just got cold like there <laughs> and it's so cold i feel like i'm saying cold a lot but it's just very cold <laughs> um i'm doing great i had some very big downs um but now i'm great now i'm okay um i didn't film for a bit or I feel like it's been a bit, I don't know actually if it's been a bit, it, it has been two weeks. I don't even remember. <laughs> has it been two weeks? I feel like it's been two weeks. But I might be wrong. <clears throat> um, but yeah, just like this. I've had big downs. Um, I was just very depressed, you know, I get hit a lot by seasonal depression um, because I am depressed all the time, like it's just like a constant thing but with the seasons and just the fact that it's, I live in a city where it's just the sky is grey basically all the time, it's very rare when you have some sun. Um, and the fact that it's so cold right now, that the sky is grey, it's raining most of the time, um, doesn't really help. When I get up, it's dark outside. When I go back from school to my apartment, it's dark too. Like, this kind of shit isn't fun and uh, it just doesn't work with me either. <coughs> also, yesterday I had a little sort of party at my place, um, which is why my face is probably swollen because I drank a bit of alcohol. I didn't drink that much though, like, I stuck to uh, one cocktail, which it was kind of big, I need to admit, like, my glass, can I, I'm going to bring you my glass, because it's not washed yet, so yeah, but it was this glass, like I drank that, plus some shots, so it was okay, I didn't drink that much, I usually drink a lot more, <laughs> like double the amount, so it, it was great, I was okay, and but my face is swol still swollen, I feel like it's really swollen, like my cheeks are a bit like, I don't know, I'm a big baby anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you please go? Wait.
they're gone. Okay. <laughs> I hate talking when there's someone in the hallway because I know they can hear me because I can hear them. Like, the thing with this building is that I said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Um, it's very well isolated between the apartments, but the door is not. And so when someone is passing by the hallway or when you are passing by the hallway, you can hear everything that's going on in the apartments. And uh, you can hear when you're in your apartment, people going by in the hallway and opening the doors and shit. <clears throat> but like between the apartments, you hear nothing. Like I have a friend of mine that's just next door here. I never hear her and I blast music all the time in my space and she never hears me. So yeah. That's that's the thing. Um, I'm probably gonna <laughs> remove these posters because I just feel dumb when... It's weird. It's weird when you have like a liking or a passion but it's well exposed in your space, your own little space and when someone comes to your place you need to hide it kind of because I'm not ashamed I say that I like k-pop and all that but just when people come here the first thing they see or like they talk about is these and how much they all look the same and how much they are like they had plastic surgery and all that and I'm, I just don't want to talk about that I just don't or I may change that and put those on the wall that's facing me because it's like kind of hidden. When you enter my apartment, this is the first wall you see with my bed and then this is the one that's kind of hidden. So I may change the setting. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I'm just thinking about things. It's just a ramble. Basically, I'm just rambling. I'm sorry if you are here for like health shit or something but I just don't want to talk about what has been not that good I want to talk about other things I was in basically since my last video I was feeling so bad for like a lot of the time um, so I just want to like I don't want to pass the bad thoughts and bad feelings to you and I don't want to <clears throat> like emphasize the fact that I'm feeling bad. I want to feel good. So to me, there's one quote that actually like helps me a lot with my anxiety, depression, whatever. Especially depression. It may not work for you because I know that this is kind of dumb to think that way, but it kind of works with me. It's fake it until you make it. So basically if things are going bad or you feel bad um, just play it as if you were okay as if things were good because when you have depression <clears throat> things are good you just can't see them so if you like in my opinion if you try to act as if things were going well because things are going well like I'm doing well in school I finished some projects I can kind of relax I still need to like give things and do stuff but <sighs> yeah I can kind of relax with my projects at school um, <coughs> I was sick I'm getting better um, I have friends that I love and that love me and I saw them yesterday I had a little party it was really great um, my crush is kind of going well I don't know things are doing well in general it's just that depression makes you like tricks your brain into thinking that you're not doing good and that you need to like hurt yourself or something or that you don't deserve anything um, so yeah <laughs> um, one thing that I need to say though is that my I'm eating a little less I'm eating a lot less than I should 
Um, but it's just because I'm lazy. <laughs> I, I don't really know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I don't really know if it's because I'm lazy that I don't want to do the dishes afterwards, that I don't want to go and buy some food and cook it and then eat it and then wash the dishes. I don't know if that's that or if that's just because I... <clears throat> Like, I'm not feeling hungry at all, lately. During these past two weeks, I have not been feeling hungry at all. I'm eating just because people around me are eating. Um, today, I cooked some fish, which I don't know if it was expired or not. I didn't look at the little uh, exp expiration date. Is that something that you say? I don't know. <laughs> Please tell me in the comments if I say things wrong because I'm not really fluent in English. Like, I. A lot of people here in France say that I'm bilingual because I kind of have an accent that's good and I can speak kind of good, kind of well. But I still have troubles with a lot of things. So if you spot anything in my pronunciation, or in like words that I say that are not good or that I should correct, please tell me in the comments. It, w it would really be, be helpful actually, because I still have English classes. And even if I'm kind of good in English, I would like to get better. I would like to actually be bilingual and like be able to like talk and say anything I want in another language. I love that. It's like, at some point, I kind of want to be fluent in Korean too, because I started like learning Korean during uh, the vacations, summer vacations. But since I'm like back in school, I didn't touch a book, a Korean like learning book, in so long. I did not go to any websites to learn Korean, so. Like, I feel like I lost a lot. When I hear a song in Korean, I can kind of, like, know what they're talking about and understand some things. But it really fr frustrates me that <clears throat> I cannot understand any everything. Like, I want to understand everything without having translations with me all the time. <sighs> Great. <laughs> What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm eating less. <laughs> that's that's it. I'm eating a lot less. Um, but I don't feel hungry either. That's the thing. It's that I don't eat because I'm not hungry. And I don't feel like cooking when I'm not hungry. You know when you're hungry, you want to eat. And so you will cook, even if it's tiring. Or anything just because you want to eat something but here because I'm not hungry I don't feel the need or the want to cook or do the dishes like my sink is overflowing with dishes it's not even funny it's disgusting call me disgusting <laughs> could probably motivate me to do the dishes but to do the dishes <laughs> sorry But yeah, I'm kind of, I'm better than I was a week ago. I had multiple panic attacks, anxiety attacks. Um, I'm not gonna lie, um, I did self-harm. But it's, it's, there is no, but it's small and I did not go deep and blah, 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 blah. There's no shit like that. Like, if you self-harm, you self-harm. It's not... It's not a, a, like, a competition or something. It's not, it's not like nothing just because you did not go deep or you did not like do a big something and you're gonna, not going to have a scar. It's not about that. It's, the, it's about the fact that you hurt yourself and it's not good. It's not fine. <clears throat> I mean... 
it's okay. I understand why you do that. I understand why you hurt yourself. And I really want you to get better. But again, it's not a good coping mechanism at all, at all. It's, it's an addiction. If you start, it's, it's really hard to stop because it's an addiction. It's an endless cycle of self-hatred towards yourself. It's just not good for you. Please don't self-harm in any way. Just not cutting. Not just cutting. Like biting, burning, um, eating disorders. Are kind are like eating disorders. It's its own disorder, but it's also kind of self harm because, at least to me, I did not. I was not diagnosed with an eating disorder, but I know that at one point I felt like I did not deserve to eat food, and so I just stopped eating. It was last year. Uh, it was a few months before I started doing videos. You can probably tell, like, when I started doing videos, I looked... I was hiding my body a lot, but you can see that I looked kinda skinnier. Um, and then during the summer I gained some weight, and now I don't know where I'm at because I'm not eating a lot, but at the same time, I'm not as bad as I was last year. Actually, it was actually a year ago, because... Yeah, we're in November now. Shit, we're in November now. Wow, okay. I do not really realize things until I really think about them. Yeah. How much something okay I can kind of talk a bit more not too much because I'm, I'm probably going to bore you <laughs> <clears throat> um, I still don't know if I should do a real video about how you should like um, what you should do after cutting because I feel like it might be helpful for some people um, who actually got to know how to like treat their scars and take care of them and the wound and all that thing. But at the same time, I don't want to encourage people to like cut or anything. I don't want people to actually know how to do it or what to do because then they're gonna be able to do it if you know what i mean and i don't want you to hurt yourself but at the same time if you still do i don't feel like i am going to stop you i just want you to know that you don't have to do this and that you are loved and that people care about you and that you don't have to do this this will not help you but i'm just on a screen if i'm being honest I'm just on a screen, on your phone or a computer, and I cannot take your blade from you. I cannot stop your hand from, like, cutting. I cannot do that. I can just tell you what I want you to know. And hope that it helps. So I don't know if I should give that knowledge because I'm not a doctor or anything I just have my own experience with me um, maybe tell me if you want me to do that video tell me <laughs> I don't know <clears throat> I really don't know what I should do um But yeah, I self-harm. <laughs> uh, it was like two days ago. It was really weird because um, I I wasn't like in my bed, 
music was playing as always there's always music playing in my apartment at whatever hour whatever time music was playing and i i started just crying uncontrollably like bawling my eyes out like it's it was not like <laughs> it was ugly crying like it was disgusting <laughs> not pretty to look at um I was crying and I just felt this weight on my chest like <clears throat> and I had trouble breathing and everything so it was d the beginning of basically uh, an anxiety attack a panic attack but for absolutely no reason um, and this is the thing with like anxiety and panic attacks and all that is that it can just go for absolutely no reason it can like you can have a panic attack right now without any reason in particular nothing to really scare you nothing to really make you worried just your body being like i'm anxious have a panic attack right now or at least it does it to me sometimes um and two days ago it was the the time that it happened and uh yeah i actually like started a panic attack and then everything got kind of blurry it, i was kind of in a fog everything kind of seemed slow motion slowed but at the same time it happened so fast like my uh, crush knows about what's going on with me and he made me promise that I should like call him or text him whenever I feel bad, whenever I feel sad, whenever I have a panic attack or something, I should call him or text him and he will come, which is so sweet. That's so freaking sweet. But the thing is that it happened so quickly that I could not do that like I was as I said in a fog feeling like I was going to die <laughs> and I just like took my cutter and I hurt my hand which I don't know if you've seen it because uh, I did not put bandage on it uh -huh. um, it's very small nothing too crazy you probably did not see it uh, in this video it's it's very small it just looks like scratches like I scratched myself it's not that big of a deal um, at least on the physical level I'm talking about um, but after that the fog just got away very quickly and I realized what I did only after I did it. And then like I put bandage on it, like I I did everything I, I could to like kinda make it okay. It's it's very heal right now, like you can as I said you probably didn't even see it. It's like very healed, it's okay. Um but yeah, when I told my, my, my crush that I did this, he was furious. <clears throat> he did not react very well. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna film another one back to back because I'm feeling like it. And I'm gonna tell you how you should react to people self-harming because that's something important and you probably don't know about it so i'll see you in the next one. Ooh, two videos in one day how's that <laughs> i'm kind of trying to make up for my um absence i don't know okay see you it did not catch see you <laughs>